All right, so we're going to demonstrate what you want to do with the sled so you can drive it safely and comfortably. There's a platform here that you're both going to stand on side by side. Why don't you go ahead and step up on the sled. And left and right. Then find a comfortable position for your hands. Great. Yeah, you can either cross them over there or go side by side as you choose. Good, good. Now I want you to demonstrate use of the brake. So you can each reach back with your inside foot and push down firmly on the brake. That's right. So you can feel the pins drive down into the snow and ice to bring your sled to a stop. Very good. So throughout your trip with us, we'll be stopping at different places for breaks and scenic sites and lunch camps and so forth. And you'll want to tie your sled off to a tree or hitching post like this. So you come around your hitching post, often it'll be a tree in the woods, come back through the handlebar, and then you just take a quick loop and go back up through it. And then through it once again to lock it for a safety knot. And then your sled is secured. So this is tied from your sled, looped around the post, back to the handlebar. I'm going to untie this now. So as we're about to launch, so if you both apply a foot to the brake, because now you're, you're without the trailing line, your sled is loose. So when your trailing line is released, this is just going to drag behind the sled like that. You can leave that be. And now we're ready to launch. You're going to release the brake, reach back with one foot to do a little pedal kick off the snow. You can release your brake. And then when you're ready to go, you're going to say, ready, hike, and give it a little push. Ready, ready hike. hike. Very good. Yeah, so now our guide Barrett's going to show you how to hook up your dogs. So this is Willow. When you're holding a dog in their harness, you always want to hold by the, the cross on the back of their harness. You never want to do that because that can put a strain and you have less control of the dog. This ensures that you have control and that it's better, easier on their chest. So when you're hooking a dog up, you want to straddle them with their legs and you take their neckline and you connect it to the chains. Oop. And then you take the back of their harness and connect it to this one. When you want to start to get the dogs to go, you can say, ready, hike, or let's go. And then if you want to go left, you say, ha. To go right, you say, G. And if you want to slow the dogs down or bring them to a full stop, you can say, Whoa, and those are your basic commands. So we're going to launch your sled. As you look ahead about 100 yards, you'll see up at the corner there is a little red stop sign. And as you approach that, we want to hear you, whoa, 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 lots of brake, lots of stop. Bring your sled to a complete stop to demonstrate to your guys that you've got control of your sled. And then after you stop, you say, ready, hike, give it a push, release your brake, and off you go.